Hello. Just wanted to read something that I wrote from uh, June 23rd, 2014. Some snazzy stuff indeed. So, here we go. Some food for thought. If the fourth dimension is time, and we can pinpoint our exact spatial coordinate location in the third dimension, it is possible for one to calculate movement in space for the lot of time measured into the fourth dimension. Let's say we want to measure all the possible ways a person can move in space with calculating where we move, like a hop in one second, a smile, a hand or leg movement, etc. in space, or whereabouts on our body is moved into space, as well as how fast the movement in space is. Since we can only move so fast in space, we are limited into how much space we can move in one second of time measurement. So, that's a lot of calculations, but it would be possible to measure a large percentage or almost all the possible ways a human can move in one second in time. This would account for all the parallel universes in space. Therefore, we don't have to be magic psychic fortune tellers to be able to decode the fourth dimension values for all parallel worlds. In fact, one could say being able to know everything about the future is as simple as calculating binary code zero or one for the coordinate measurements in space for one second for the fourth dimension and go from there, adding dimensions. And if one was really insightful or can sense with their senses really slight changes that most don't feel, it would be possible to fine tune yourself and feel frequencies in space. As we uh, do from binaural tones, there are specific tones that can help us or harm us or produce some effect on us as for our energy sensing goes. Um, so if one could feel frequencies in space and understand what the frequencies mean, it would be possible for one to know when they move in space, what will happen as far as whether the frequency vibration is good or know when they uh, move in space that something bad might happen. And then one can avoid bad situations based on knowing the warning or bad frequency sound. Let's say, for example, your friend asks if you want to join them for a ride. You say yes and move forward only to feel in one second's worth of time the warning frequency. So you change your mind and say, and stay. Later that night, you hear that they died in a car accident. You felt the warning frequency of what might have happened um, to you too had you tagged along. This is how animals can sense volcanoes, bad weather, when a person is about to die in 24 hours, like that one cat who could sense when someone would die within a day, you know, and we call ourselves the smart species. So, some of my kooky thoughts. Enjoy.